Hi, this is Judy Marino at the CMCC Library. Welcome to a brief demonstration on getting started with the ProQuest databases. We'll start from the library's homepage. Don't Google ProQuest, as the links you find won't give you the addresses you'll need. If searching ProQuest from home, you'll also start at the library's homepage. There's a link to ProQuest here. And if at home, you'll be asked for your CMCC student ID number to get in. Let's click on this link to databases here. You'll see that ProQuest searches all of these databases automatically. We can expand our view to see which databases fall under a particular category. Given your particular topic, you may want to select one of these groupings. We're going to look for information on Bill Gates' philanthropic foundation and what he's doing around the globe to fight malaria. So we're going to select the business databases. And the health and medicine databases. And we're at a basic search screen. Let's type in Bill Gates and see what happens. We retrieved over 32,000 results. Perhaps this is not the best approach. How do we get fewer but more specific results? First, we'll put quotation marks around his name. This forces the database to search these words as a phrase. And as you can see, it was pretty effective in narrowing down the possibilities. Enclosing phrases and quotation marks works in most databases you would search, including Google. But don't use quotation marks if you don't have a phrase. Look at this result. There's no link to full text, nor is there a PDF attached. Instead, it simply says, find a copy. This means there's not an article to view here, just a summary. You could check another database to see if it's full text there, or you could order this article through Interlibrary Loan. More on this in another video. Instead, we'll limit our results to just full text. And now we have roughly 16,000 results. Let's add the word malaria to our search. There are a couple ways to do this. We could simply retype our search, Bill Gates, include the word and malaria. Or we could go to the advanced search screen, type Bill Gates into this box, use this and, and add the word malaria into this box. It achieves the same result. And look at the number of results we got. This was pretty good. Another way to narrow a search even more is to try your search term as a subject search, which is more precise than what we did. So if we go back to the advanced search page, this box here is currently being searched in all fields. Change this to subject and pick search again. And now we only have 54 results, which is pretty good. These are sorted by relevance. We could change this to most recent first if we wanted to. I think I'm going to look at the source types. And I'm going to exclude anything from a newspaper or wire feed. So I'll include magazines, trade journals, and scholarly, scholarly journals. Let's look at this first result. We'll click on the title to open it up. And here we open up to the abstract and the full text of the article. You have options for citing, emailing, printing, and saving on the right-hand side. This full text PDF tab opens up to something that looks like a picture. Sometimes options for saving and printing the PDF pop up when hovering over it. 
Other times you need to save or download the PDF to your device before you can print it. Also note that critical information that you need to create your citation, such as the name of the database, the DOI, or the URL, are only found on this Abstract and Details tab. So be sure to save this if you're going to use the article and you need to create a citation. That should be enough to get you started searching ProQuest. Know that the librarians at CMCC are here to help. Just ask. And thanks for tuning in.